Hi everyone, uh, my name is Andrew Parkhurst and I'm with the Design Point Application Engineer team. And I'm here today to show you how SolidWorks can help automate your bill of material creation and uh, ballooning and all kinds of different drawing uh, tools that we have available. First of all, um, SolidWorks can be used to create parts and assemblies. Right now I have just a simple vise here. Uh, this assembly has different parts in it that I've actually gone in and um, opened the parts to, to add custom properties to all the different parts. I've added a part number, a material, and a description. And that's going to come into play when we're trying to work with the bill of materials because we can actually import all of those details into the bill of materials automatically. And those custom properties are saved with the files. Um, you can save templates of those properties so that when you insert a new part, it automatically generates that and has slots available for that information to be populated. So we have an assembly here and SOLIDWORKS has um, pretty easy functionality where we can just make a drawing from this assembly. Some of our pre-made templates here, I'm just going to use a B-sized ANSI document. Now for whatever purpose you have, you can use your template that you can set up and we have some great training classes that teach how to create those templates. Um, but we have our drawing view template over here. And I'm just going to uh, start off by importing an isometric view. That view is a little small, so let me just uh, increase the scale. All right, that's pretty good. I'm also just going to go for a shaded with edge view. Um, so right now we start off with this view and we want to create a bomb. The bomb is actually already part of SOLIDWORKS uh, tables, uh, annotation tab, tables, and then we can just go right here to bill of materials. It wants us to select a view and we've already imported this view. So once we select it, it's going to ask us, hey, what template do you want to do? We could just do the standard template that comes with SOLIDWORKS, parts only, indented, top level. All these different options are available. And let me just show you what, what we get here. Now we can lock this onto our screen at uh, a good place, but I'm going to do that a little bit later because I'm going to show you some other things that we can do with this. So we've inserted this and this information, the description comes directly from those custom properties of each part file. So these were things that I might have typed in. Uh, item number is how it's been inserted into the assembly and then we've got a part number. That's more of a, a description on each of those parts. Now if we wanted to, we can also add um, the, the uh, material by adding columns to this bill of materials. So if we insert a column to the right, we have just a blank slate. We have custom property selected, and then we can just tell it, hey, what property name do we want? And this is the material that we've actually applied to each of the parts. So plain carbon steel, we've got some rubber grip plates, um, some steel annealed and ally steel, stainless steel. Um, we can actually save this as a template where this would come up on every drawing that we create with a bill of materials. We can lock this now to the edge of our drawing. And then now all we have to do is kind of uh, align our balloons with our assembly view to match the bill of materials. Well, SOLIDWORKS makes that pretty easy as well. We can actually use the auto balloon function. It's asking us, basically the, the, the type of uh, pattern we want to work with. And then once we do that, we've got a couple of them kind of sneaking off the page there. We can arrange them and that's, that's that. Now, the easy part about this is that if we're working with an assembly with lots of different components, we can actually either select on the bill of materials to kind of highlight what we're looking at um, or kind of vice versa, we can see that the base two here is what we've selected in, in the viewing window. So that's just some of the easy functionality that SOLIDWORKS has built into it to create bills of materials and have them auto ballooned and just create drawings that you can use for your production processes. So if you have any questions, thank you very much for your time and we just look forward to helping you with any problems that you have.